Hello guys, so in this video I will show you how to connect your Airtable uh, base to Bill Bill and how to create a click quickly and simply your first KPI. So first of all I click here on the Airtable connector and then I give a name to my workspace. A workspace in Bill Bill is like your dashboard name. So let's call it Sales KPI Dashboard. Click on continue. Here I need to provide an Airtable API URL. So to do so you have all the instructions here, but I will show you how to do so uh, very quickly. So in Airtable I click on API documentation and then I reach the API documentation on Airtable. I need to click on this show API key. So if you don't see this checkbox, you should make sure uh, that you have generated an API key. So you would like to go to uh, your account in our table here and make sure that you have generated an API key. Uh, so here I've already generated one, but if you don't, uh, so make sure to click on the button here to generate your API key and then go back to the uh, API URL uh, documentation, click on the show API key, scroll down a little bit and here grab the entire uh, CURL link. So you just need to copy paste it. Let's copy it. I'm going back to Bill Bill. And then I check the URL. So you see it's the entire uh, CURL uh, link. And I can now click on connect. Okay, so the connection is successful. And uh, now I am able to create my first KPI, so I need to click on the button here. So just to uh, give you a, a quick glimpse on the uh, base that I have here. So it's a very simple base with sample data. Um, so I have here a list of records. Uh, each record is an opportunity uh, made by a sales representative uh, on a specific date with a specific amount. Uh, and every opportunity is in a specific status for uh, product A, B, C, so very, very simple base. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have records uh, with a date column and some values. So it's a metric, a measure on which you will build your first KPI. So if I go back to Bill Bill, we will name that cell opportunity. I will click on next. Okay, so here you see it's the this field is auto populated by the default base ID from uh, your Airtable connection. Um, if you need and you want to create a, a KPI on a different base, so it's very easy. You just need to uh, copy paste the base ID from Airtable and just you can change and edit this uh, field. But in this uh, current state, I want to make it on this base, so it's okay. Uh, and let's uh, fill the second field here, it's a table name. So it's very important to type the exact name of your table in uh, Airtable uh, and it's case sensitive, that's the limitation from the Airtable API. So here my base is named opportunities. I will simply type, so you see it's already done here. So, and very important to make, to make it uh, case sensitive and very exact, the exact same name here. Um, here in view name, you have a possibility to use the views uh, to filter some of your data. If you use views in uh, Airtable, it's an optional field, but it, it can be very useful if you want to build a KPI just on specific uh, piece of your data. So you would like, you would, uh, probably create a specific view in Airtable with some filters and then create your KPI on top of it. Uh, on it. Here I will leave it, uh, I will leave it uh, uh, empty and I click on check. Okay, so the second step is very easy here. Uh, the first, uh, we have uh, a, map, a column mapping uh, job to do here. We need to map the value and the date. So the value, the value as I just uh, explained previously, 
the value could be a number, it could be a price, it could be a measure, it could be a percentage. Okay, so it's usually a number that represents your metric. So it could be a number, an amount of opportunity, it could be uh, it could be a percentage, a ratio, and conversion rate, anything that is a, a metric for your KPI. So it must be a number here, a number column in the error table. So here, here is very easy also the name, I name value, but it could have another name, it doesn't matter, but you just need to make sure that it's a, a numbered value. So now I map value with this column called value in our table. And here uh, I need to map the date value. So again, every opportunity is made on a specific date. It could be, by the way, leads from your forms, anything, but it should be uh, uh, with a specific date. So I map the date. And, and now there is this breakdown, which is also optional, but it can be very useful in your analysis in the dashboard. So here in this specific case, uh, I probably want to monitor and, uh, um, and measure the amount of opportunity uh, based on specific status, for example. Or uh, I would like to see the amount of opportunities split it by every cell representative. So it could be very interesting to analyze that in Bilbo. So I will add status, uh, let's add status and sales rep as a breakdown. I click on continue. So uh, as we can see here, the value is in dollar. So we just make sure to have the good currency. The direction is very, very simple. It's also explained here. Um, some KPIs, some measures you want your you better want to increase them, and some you would like to decrease them, and some of them are just like metric without any direction. So in this specific case, uh, of course, I want to increase the sales amount and the uh, sales amount opportunities. So increasing is better is the right choice here, uh, and the aggregation again aggregation for specific breakdown. Uh, should be here a sum. So I want to sum all the opportunities for the cell uh, representative or on specific status. You have also advanced settings here, but let's go ahead and click on save. And that's it. I can click on view on my dashboard. My face first KPI is ready. Awesome. And I have my graph. I have my KPI sales opportunities. If I click on breakdowns here, I will be able to have my number based on uh, the status of the opportunity. And here uh, I will have the same amount split by sales representative. And I will have all the trends um, of these specific KPIs. And that's it. So I would let you, you have some other things and very nice things to do in Bill Bill. But that's the end uh, for this specific video uh, and I